you're standing in front of a door. The door is open, and there's someone sitting at a desk on the other side. Also, there are several signs that tell you where to ask for information. With fear and trembling, you step through the door and approach the desk. You're about to enter a world of information and illumination. A world where knowledge is contextual, and gaps are bridged through an understanding of particular information needs. You're about to enter the Reference Zone. Hi there, can I help you with anything? Um, hi, I heard you have ESL courses here. Yes, I can help you with that. Can I ask you a few more questions to get a better idea of how best to help you? Sure. So you're looking for ESL classes. How do you plan to use that information? Well, my cousin's coming over from France in a couple weeks, and he thinks his English isn't very good, so I wanted to help him out. The patron has articulated an imposed query. I see. And what kind of resources have you found so far? Well, nothing really yet. This is my first time looking for anything. My friend did tell me that you have ESL courses at this location. Okay, we do have ESL classes here on Monday nights. We also offer ESL classes at other branches throughout the system. So your cousin can attend ESL classes at any of those. Okay. Do you want me to show you how to find out about that? Sure, that'd be great. Let me show you the Toronto Public Library website, which is uh, at www.torontopubliclibrary.ca. Okay. You can see it here. First off, your cousin can look at anything on the TPL website in French by clicking on the Francais option right up here in the top right. Okay. The first place we're going to look for resources for your cousin is the Newcomers to Canada link over here on the right. So when we click through, you can see over in the left-hand navigation menu, Learn English ESL. We'll click on that and it brings us to a list of all of the ESL classes offered throughout the system. In this list, it also tells us the level of the classes, beginner, intermediate, advanced, and it also tells us the date and time. If you want to get more information about that particular class, you can click on the name of the library branch at the top and it'll take you through to another page. Right. If you have a few minutes, I can show you some other resources that might be useful for your cousin. Sure. So up at the top here, there's this Programs, Classes, and Exhibits section. So we'll click on that, and it takes us through to this page. There are a number of ways to navigate through the programs at the TPL. We'll go over here to the left-hand navigation menu and choose Newcomer and ESL Programs. When we come to this page, you can see that we have a number of options over here on the left to narrow down our search. So we choose Adult. Exactly. To narrow it down further, we can also click on English, which gives us a list of programs for adults in English. As you scroll down the page, you can see that we have a variety of programs, and you can click through on any of the names of the programs for more information. Um, is all of this free? Yes, it is. But does he have to be a library member to participate in these programs? Actually, he does. You can just bring him in when he gets here, and we'll set him up with a library account. That's also free. Perfect. I'm going to give you a pamphlet that you can take home and refer to later. Don't forget, your cousin can access the website from anywhere and he doesn't have to be a member. Is there anything else I can help you with today? No, I think that's it. You've been really helpful. I'll pass this information along. Please come back if you have any more questions or need any more information. I'd be happy to help. Thank you so much. I hope you have a great day. You too.